how do we win more Warzone 2 ranked play games as a team and as a solo queue? It starts with understanding how to create a game plan that will limit your losses and maximize your wins. And then finally, it's up to you to lead your teammates to that victory. Now, what I mean by this is, let's say for an example, the second that you load into the game and you're loading up on the plane, let's say you look at the circle and it's ending something like this, right? So you can look at the middle of the circle and understand that the game is ending somewhere at caves. It's just gonna end right in the middle. Um, it may pull towards hydro, it may pull towards there, but for the most part, we know it's ending somewhere right there. Now, let's say that the plane flying in, the plane flying in, it's probably going over like fortress, airport, village, hydro, oil, like that. When the plane is going over, you can start predicting where majority of enemies are gonna land. So obviously you're gonna have enemies land at the middle because that's where the game is ending. People usually just camp there. Uh, we're gonna have quite a few people at observatory. We're gonna have quite a few people at hydro. We're definitely gonna have people at Rohan Oil. And then I would say there's gonna be limited people at Almazer City. Um, of course, we may have people at uh, Shreem Pass. And then what we might see is some of the Gulag winners spawn over here. But at this point, we now have a game plan on understanding where enemies are landing. So what do we do? This is where you look at your teammates and you determine what is the best play. So if you're solo queue and your teammates are great at the game, right? Like they, ha they have iridescent in multiplayer or they just have really good skins. They just, they just look good. You can have full confidence with them and land hot. So what I mean by that is landing hot is, you know, if you see a lot of people going towards Shereen Pass, land at Shereen Pass. Observatory, a lot of people go there, land observatory. Hydroelectric, hydroelectric's my personal favorite, and I would recommend everyone to land here whenever you're going for high kills. Because the majority of the time, there's a lot of people that land there, and when you and your team are the best players landing there, you're gonna give yourself an opportunity to get 10 kills, and if you die, you go to Gulag, you win, you get 11 kills, and then you play for the win. Now you're getting upwards to about 200 SR just by landing hot with good teammates. But what if we don't have good teammates, right? Let's let's look at our you know scoreboard, and we see that our players are Billy Bob, um, they're all bronze players, silvers, it looks like they first played the game and you just know that they're probably not gonna be that mechanically skilled. What you still wanna do is set your guys up for success. And there's two things you can do. The first one is you can just land middle circle. So like you can land over here at caves, loot up, get your loadouts, and then camp. I'm gonna be quite frank, this is super boring. You guys are gonna land middle map, you guys are gonna loot up, maybe find one team to fight, maybe two teams to fight, and then you're not gonna have any action for like a full five, 10 minutes until the enemies are now pushing in when the circle is ending like this. But you can do that. That just guarantees you, you know, a top five finish, which is anywhere around, you know, 60 plus SR, which is not too bad and you may get some kills along with it. Now, another thing you can do, which is my personal favorite, which just keeps the action alive, is landing at a place where you don't expect enemies to be. You loot up, you take a helicopter, and then you fly around the map for easy kills or just playing for the win. So what I mean by that is looking at this map, I'd be like, oh shoot. So Almazer City, it's outside of the circle. The plane is kind of out of the way. There's not gonna be a lot of people landing at Almazer City, so let's land there. We would land on top, we would land at the cash building, we would loot everything up, we would get our loadout, we would get into a helicopter, and then once we get into our helicopter, that's when we can decide, do we would just wanna go to where the game is ending and camp there? Or do we wanna start you know, going for kills and rotate the circle, you know, fishing the circle, or what my I Iceman Isaac calls the pinwheel method. So these are all the game plans that you really wanna think about. Do we land hot and just go for kills and then play for middle circle after we die in Gulag? 
or do we land safe fly around and go for kills or do we land safe and then fly towards the end circle or do you just flat out end at the end circle and just sit there it's all up to you all right now let's say that um we start getting into gunfights, right? We should probably talk about gunfights and how do we maximize our wins when it comes to gunfights. So there's a few simple tips that are in my fundamentals through my coaching that I like literally preach and practice all the time. I highly recommend you guys do the same. Uh, but a few of those things are prior to prioritize getting to high ground as much as possible. So what I literally mean by this is as we see this guy right here, does not have high ground. This is not a good play by this person. He needs to get to high ground. So always stand on top of this fence, get on top of this roof. And now that you're on top of this roof, guess what? You can look out into the distance to see if there's any other enemies over here. And if you see there's red dots right here, where just by getting on this house, you would see these red dots. And now that you see those enemies, you can Decide if you want to go and push them to kill them, keep your distance, or just rotate out and leave them. But prioritize getting to high ground as much as possible just because of that sole reason. You get more information. You can see more. Travel high ground to high ground. Now, another very important thing is just know where all enemies are, know your openings, and know your exits. So quite literally, once you get to high ground and you see those enemies out there over here, you can look at that and now determine, you know, what do you want to do, right? So we know all the enemies are over there. We have an opening because there's no enemies on this right, so we can flank. There's our opening. Now, what is your exit? That's the last thing that a lot of people forget. The, they, they do everything perfect. They get to high ground, they see the enemies, they know all the enemies, they find their opening, they go for their kill, and now they probably get third partied or they just never had a good exit to begin with. You always have to remember your exit strategy, which looking at the minimap, there's smaller buildings, which you can just run towards there. That's a, probably a decent exit. Or you can just double back and go right back where you came from and you can do that. Or it looks like you can just like simply just fly out, right? Uh, the, the whole point is just always have an escape. Look at your mini map and understand that, okay, enemies there, let me push up, get these kills. And if, you know, stuff hits the fan, I can leave out toward these buildings or I can get into this vehicle and drive away or I can run back. I know I'm safe because I have teammates there. Um, and that's, that's about the few things I could say about gunfights. The last thing I would say is just play your life perfectly. Every single time the enemy looks at you, just don't even go for that challenge. Don't die. You can't die for your teammates. Your teammates, like, you know, do you trust your teammates to buy you back? Essentially, that's what I'm saying. So try to play your life as perfect as possible. Don't die. Don't take any bad challenges. Always get to high ground. Know where the enemies are. And if you decide to go for kills, understand your exits. The last thing I didn't talk about is just make sure you play trades with your teammates, right? So if you and your teammates are right here and you ping like crazy, like, hey, guys, ping, 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 ping. Let's go fight these guys. And you start rotating. If possible, try to let the enemy shoot at your teammates first. So that allows you to go for a flank or something like that. Uh, just again, <laughs> let your teammates die. You don't want to die. Um, I know that sounds a little weird, but trust me. I trust you to win your gunfights much more than I do trust my teammates. All right. Now, the final thing that we really want to talk about is the end circles and rotating. Probably the last thing that helps us actually, you know, give us the wins. Which, uh, once we're done landing, getting all of our kills, and now we need to start rotating, this is what you guys need to do. First one is let's say that the game is ending uh let, let's change it up right so like let's say the game is ending at like village observatory it may pull down like over here or something like that plane landing was like this and then now what happens is we understand that the game is ending like right here something like that right
what you need to do with you and your team is rotate early. So when you get a new circle, so once new circle pops, right? So like, let's say this is circle three that pops or here, let me do this for you. Oh, well, that was really bad, <laughs> but let's say circle three just pops, right? So circle three just popped right here. And when there's 40 seconds, when circle three just popped, you want to look at your map and determine the best position to rotate towards. So let's say you and your team, you guys were fighting over here at hydroelectric. You would want to look at your map, see that the new circle just popped. So circle number three and there's 40 seconds start rotating. Look at this and understand that, oh shoot, high ground is observatory, high ground is king, we can win, let's rotate now, guys. And you usually wanna rotate all the way up towards observatory to the safest position possible. Now you sit right here and now you're golden because guess what? Even when circle three closes and now you're on circle four, this is circle four right here, you're still inside of observatory. Now circle five, the next thing you see is boom, 40 seconds again, and circle five is this little area right here. And I'll go ahead and I'll zoom in just to make it a little bit easier. So the final circle is over here at Village, right? What you're gonna have to do is understand what is the best play for high ground. And right now, what you would see is you have a wall over at Akdar Village, if you guys know what I'm talking about, like right here and you realize that that's the highest ground, at 40 seconds, you and your teammates pop a kill streak. Just invest tax, do something, just so you guys can parachute off and then land right at the end game. And then as you guys sit here at the end game, once again, let everyone else kill each other. I usually don't try to like push any gunfights. I play my life perfectly just so I can maximize as much score as possible and getting that first place. Because that first place, uh, so the difference between second place and first place is 20 SR. That's basically four kills. I'm not going to risk going for four kills when I can literally just put my controller down and get that extra 20 SR, right? Um, but that is about it. Because once you get to this final circle, now it's just make sure you guys, you know, win the gunfights, play for each other's trades, and don't die. Uh, that is actually one thing I did say is um, check all four sides. Oh, so <laughs> let me get rid of this. So one thing I did say is I just said, uh, here, here's the notes, by the way. These notes will be in the description of the YouTube video. Uh, play for the win and check all four sides. So all I mean by that is you have north, east, west, south. Sometimes you can't trust your teammates to, you know, hold the direction. So you have to do it yourself. Just, you know, occasionally check all four sides, make sure you're safe. But... This concludes the class on how to win more Warzone 2 ranked games. Um, I would highly recommend checking out my how to get high kills in Warzone video because that goes a little bit more depth onto like those pro strategies that teams are doing, right? Which just to give a quick example of a high kill game, um, it would be something like this, right? Where the game is ending like this. The, pro, uh, the plane flew in like this, and the pro players, they all landed at Hydro. They got all of their kills. They understand that there's gonna be people over at Cave, so they rotate towards Cave, they get all those kills. They rotate up towards Observatory, they get all those kills, they push down, they get all these kills at Said City, Cemetery. And then um, when they're popping UAVs, if they don't get any like activity over here, they would just run back towards this direction. And essentially, what I'm trying to show you is they cut the map in half, where they're covering this entire side of this map, where once they're done clearing out this entire side of the map, they have about, what, 30 kills, 40 kills combined, and the game is ending over here at Village. All you have to now worry about is what's in front of you, right? What's here? So what is here? What is here? And that's what pro players do. Um, I would highly recommend checking out that video. It goes a little bit more in depth on this strategy and other strategies. But please, anyone, let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help.
Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you all have a great weekend and peace.